Well, the book of Romans is the first epistle in the New Testament after the four Gospels and the book of Acts. We begin the epistles, the letters to the different churches and the ministers. And the book of Romans is first. You have to wonder why. It's not the first letter that Paul wrote. He probably wrote maybe 1 Thessalonians, but most likely it was Galatians that was his first epistle. It could be they placed it first among those epistles because it's the longest one, but that's probably not the reason. I think the Lord inspired the early church fathers to place Romans first because it's the most important of the epistles. We may have other epistles that we like best. I love the book of Ephesians. Some say that 1 Timothy is their favorite or maybe another, but Romans is the first book after Acts for a reason. After showing how the church was formed and how it spread in Acts, the next step is to explain the foundational truths upon which the church is built. And Romans explains those foundational truths, justification, adoption, living the Christian life and such. Romans is the epistle that converted Augustine. Its statement that the just shall live by faith launched the Protestant Reformation. John Wesley and John Bunyan were both converted by hearing teachings about the book of Romans. And while no epistle is a systemic or systematic theology, Romans is about salvation. Hebrews 2 and verse 3 refers to so great salvation. And Romans explains how great that salvation is. And salvation is the most important doctrine because we were fallen, sinful humans, and we need to understand what it means to be saved, what it cost, and what is involved in that. And those who canonized and collected the books that became the New Testament felt that Romans was the preeminent epistle. It's placed first because of that. It's such a great and powerful explanation of salvation. And it presents God as supremely trustworthy. In it, Paul set forth the doctrine of justification, explaining to Gentile Christians that it did not come through wisdom and enlightened knowledge. And he explained to Jewish Christians that it could not come through law keeping, keeping the law of Moses. It's an epistle that also deals with problems in the church, but it does so from a grand theological perspective. If God can be trusted with salvation, then he can be trusted with the lesser matters of church divisions and anxieties about this life. Romans and the book of Hebrews are the two deepest epistles in the New Testament. They deal with vitally important, but sometimes difficult to understand issues. That's why Romans and Hebrews are the two bookends that frame the Pauline epistles. Romans explains salvation, and Hebrews explains our Savior. While Hebrews tells us who Christ is, Romans tells us what Christ has done. And today I'm beginning a Bible study of Romans. It's going to take me several weeks to go through this. After we finish, we'll revert back to a question and answer format that we've used for the last three years. But at some point in the future, I do want to do a second in-depth study, this time of the book of Hebrews.